When you're doing animation, one of the most useful tools you'll use is the timeline. Once you're in the timeline, there are a number of tracks. For this basic example, we'll use three of them. The transform, flip, and motion tracks. The first step to animating anything is to move the time scrub ahead to another frame, then move your character to a different location, like what I'm doing here. As you can see, when I move, a keyframe appears in the transform track. For the next step, I'm going to use the Z depth arrow to move my character further back in the scene. Once I move my character back, I can also move him to the side. Now when I play my animation, it looks as though the character is moving off into the distance. Because my character is moving in two different directions, it doesn't make sense that he's always facing the same direction. Therefore, I'm going to use the flip command to turn him around. If you want to modify the path of your character, you can add keyframes into the timeline by selecting the Add Keyframes button. Once you have the extra keyframes added, you can move them around to modify your character's path. Be aware of the timing and distance between your keyframes though, as characters will move faster if keyframes are placed closer to each other. Next, I want to add a walking motion to my character. The easiest way to do this is to use the puppeteering tool. In the puppeteering panel, there are a number of various animations for different purposes. If I press the space key, I can preview the animation. I have the slider control selected, so the animation will automatically repeat itself while I make adjustments. It's a good idea to adjust the speed of your character's walk according to the distance it moves. That way you can get a more realistic looking animation. In the puppeteering panel, there are also options to modify the way your character walks. You can adjust almost any parameter to provide a number of unique walking styles that can be used for almost any situation. All the other motions also have this option. If you follow these easy steps, you can create an animation like this in minutes. Give it a try!